First of all, I'm glad I've been positioned to speak after lunch because I'm now I'm fully energetic, so I'm just kidding. Well, no, I'm kidding. When you talk about peace development and human rights issues, I mean you're engaged with your body and soul. You're not. So um, I would like to introduce myself a little bit more because the project I'm proposing is related to my background as well. So I've studied art and design in Lebanon, the United States, and recently in France, and I've been an exchange student for a short period of time to Germany. So I decided to study in different um, countries to learn more about different cultures. So beside my studies, I've always been passionate about projects that are related to peace and development and human rights. So I've been engaged th since 2007 with NGOs in Lebanon and internationally. We work on projects with children and youth and people with disability to empower them through workshops and training to teach them life skills, create art projects with them so they can learn more about working together and understand the meaning of collaboration and, uh, and trust between people. So I've worked as well on mural projects with them. Um, we did three mural projects. We call them Enough, We Want to Live, Together We See Better, Together We Build a Better Society, and the last one was to remember we need to forget. Those are titles of peace murals. They are all based on main events that happened in the past in Lebanon. So one of them is based on the war of 2006 between south of Lebanon and Israel. And the second is based on the bombing of the two mosques in north of Lebanon in Tripoli. And the third, the fight between the two parties, the Jabal and Tibbani. So they're all based on real um, events that happened. All of this is to come uh, all the way to talk about this project proposal, which uh, I'll be discussing now. And I say it's a project proposal because we did not do the project. It's just we proposing a project to do in the future. We still need the fund to do it. So as an active member and international delegate of Cross Art Cultural Association, I'm happy to introduce the Ayadi project. Just before talking about the project, I would like to talk a little bit briefly about the Cross Art Association. So it's an NGO, it was founded in 2010 in order to develop the capacities of the Lebanese youth for free expression, activation of dialogue and citizenship through art activities which include street arts, international interactive theater, awareness, painting, music, dance and singing. So its projects and activities are designed to confront the logic, of vi the logic of violence in all its forms and to raise the level of individual and collective awareness about culture, development, education, youth issues, and women issues in general. So to talk about the Iyadi project, first of all, Iyadi is an Arabic word that means hands. And the second, it's an abbreviation for Arab Youth for Art Diversity and Identity. Ayadi Project um, should link seven Arab countries hand in hand, Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, and Tunisia. So to begin, I um, would like to say that the Arab region lived a comprehensive state of revolution called the Arab Spring. We all heard about that. So where sometimes it led to positive transformation and other times it has led to war. So the revolutions are becoming disastrous on the community, especially with the invasion of the extremist ideas, which began to prevail youth as a substitute for the rea reality of marginalization and social injustice. In consequence, this comprehensive reality of Arab youth imposes the need to think deeply and quickly of available tools to face this past side of bad vision and to have a rapid response to these suspicious calls. So talking about youth, about their reality and challenges, the problem with Arab youth is that Arab youth are considered as one of the most important and fundamental issues in the Arab world because they are symbol of human energy and vitality. They are capable of development based on education, culture, media, religious, and social values. So most of them, they are ambitious, they are eager to have a productive life and to have a good quality of knowledge to produce a better future. 
as Aristotle says, good habits formed at youth make all the difference. So when we should work with problems, we should start with them at a small age. The youth problem stems primarily from imbalance in development, media, employment, education, and social and political policies, which imposes the need to develop projects to adopt the younger generation and help them overcome the difficulties and obstacles that impede them. The reality of young people in the Arab world suffers from inter-crisis, which witness violence, events up to armed conflict, where some of the values and principles were waggled and appeared new Sorry, new concerns, problems as following. We have educational leisure, unemployment, drug addiction, conflicts between generations, demographic explosion, and increase in demand for higher level skills. Most importantly, the growing threat to international peace and security. So, to talk a bit about the project background, from what's already mentioned, there's a need to find ways to speed up help and facilitate solutions. What we want to work on is a big overgrown state of many fragmented youth groups strongly divided in every Arab country and where we share their communication links across social media networks. If we want to determine the general description, the impact is the free belonging and to respond to what they love in an unconditional and unrestricted way through arts. But why art? because art is an active process. Art is different than artwork. While artwork is a product or an object, art is an action. It's the process of creating this object. So artwork is static, but art is moving. This is why art is the project of creating, making, doing, producing, and achieving. Art is a language that engages both the body and soul. Art was the first tool of communication between people since prehistoric days. Well, we see the figures, symbols, and images that are carved on stones and the caves. Those are the best witnesses. Arts reflect culture. In fact, it's the most effective way to learn about cultures. Art is a universal language. It's the language of the heart that reaches the mind with emotions, private emotions that each person perceives differently. Art plays an important role in shaping the future of a country. It's an effective way of educating youth about subjects related to peace, human rights, development, and democracy. Those young fractioners of different types of arts, such as rollers, interactive theater, mem drawing, murals, painting, hip hop, etc., they are revolutionaries, everyone in his private world, and with no limits, with the one thing that unites them is their need and their ideas. One category present as individuals, elements of the riots. They may be harmful and not responsible, and they can take form of gang groups who waste their time leaking from schools and universities, playing and not caring about their future. And another category is engaged in art practices. They want the best for the future, the best for their country and their families. And they cannot guarantee social environment to incubate them. So there's an interest, a responsibility, and a duty to carry them on the humanitarian and the educational levels, and to work with them to engage them in order to make them responsible of themselves and their community. So the project applies the correlation between youth and their community. If, if we want an active role of youth in building society and its institution, there must be given the opportunity to freely express and they should be trained on democracy, human rights, development, volunteer work, citizenship, and other topics that develop their mentalities, their willingness to participate actively and positively in building civil society. And so young people can actively participate in community building. The project leads to positive youth cultural work through creating favorable climate that helps stimulate groups to highlight the experience of each individual, relying on a general principle, which is the cultural work is the process of taking and giving. It's a mutual benefit. Cultural work does not lie in the collective agreement on one opinion or one way to do, but it is that everyone becomes active on the basis of cognitive self-balance where there's no room for any bossy pressure by the committee or the administration supervising the activities and the participants. 
the second point is that working to improve the capacity of each group and the creation of communication humanitarian relations between different groups and the concerned countries. The need to get used, the third point is the need to get used to rich innovation and aesthetic creation. The Arab Culture March requires a systematic revolution in order to perform a variety of roles at once. In the frame of comprehensive development process, we are beyond what we may describe as crisis. We are in front of a volcano, on the verge of an explosion. And the only solution lies in the cultural work, because it is the last impregnable fort which protects the Arab region, focusing on the need for networking and that the arts are the way to change the community concepts and to provide models to break stereotypes and the pre prejudice. Cultural activities will contribute to young people's development. Through these art activities, you can discover new capabilities that add positive aspects to their personalities. This thing cannot be discovered in any other field. They can explore new roles, new functions that may represent an alternative of social satisfaction. Cultural events and festivals give the youth a sense of beauty and can also be a source of inspiration for new and creative behavior. The participation in these activities make the youth overcome the daily routine of life in uniform or in behavior or in the way of thinking, and it may represent an area of renewal and change to eliminate boredom. So our group, our targeted group is um, youth group ranging from 16 to 30 years old so who have a significant artistic skills in each of the following countries as i said the seven countries lebanon syria egypt tunisia algeria morocco and jordan so and who have already practicing these art and entertainment and peaceful expression in streets generally or in places such as theaters showrooms university club or anywhere else Okay, <laughs> so our indirect target group is uh, youth and civil groups as a whole that will benefit from the presence of trainee groups within the main project through live shows and in kind of media productions and other things that can be accessible to everyone. So we believe that this project will succeed to link Arabs from different Arab countries so that we can link those countries and make an establishment between them. We already have NGOs, we're working partnering with NGOs in those countries. I'm not gonna list them now since I don't have much time. So just to conclude, I would like to say that we really need to empower youth to cultivate education, culture, and growth across generations to promote harmony in life, peace through action, and inspiration from beauty. We need to create safe spaces to promote peace, love, unity, and having fun. So what we say, we say like peace, love, unity, and having fun. That's <laughs> what we do. Through traditional and contemporary arts education to develop the creative potential of youth to advance positive social change and active citizenship. Our overall objective is to create a network of artistic youth group in the Arab world investing artistic capabilities from positive expression, social peace building and dialogue through youth issues and causes toward the service of a rooted identity and against violence and extremism and terrorism. Thank you.